Hello everyone. Welcome back to the another video of Circuit Digest. So far we have configured HTML8S with various kind of modes like SPI, I2C, EWART and we have interfaced HTML8S with an LCD display. So the development board that we are using before that is the HTML8S 103F3 P6 development board. But now we are going to try a different IC from the HT Micro Electronics that is stm 8 s 001 j 3 model. So this IC is capable of 8 GPIO pins. You can see here, I have uh, prepared a PCB board for this IC and this SMD component is stm 8 s 001 j 3 and it has 8 pins. From the 8 pins, we have 2 voltage pins. So one is for 5 volt power supply and one is for ground. The respective six pins has been used for multi-purpose GPIOs. So in this video, I am going to show you how to make this development uh, PCB, and then I will show you how to uh, program the HTM801 for the first time. So let's get started. To make this PCB breakout for the HTM801 IC, you need to design the PCB layout. So I have used Easy EDA to design the PCB layout. So let's move towards the designing part of the Easy EDA on my laptop screen. So this is the Easy EDA platform and I have used this schematic to design our breakout board for the stm 8 one j 3 ic So you can import this schematic from the library here. Okay, just search for stm 8 s 8 stm 8 s 001 and press enter so here is the IC that I am talking about so you can use this one then I used the PCB schematic layout here and I route the all components but before routing make sure that you have the right schematic layout for the IC for me, it was a wrong IC layout, so I just convert this top layer into a bottom one because when I used to print this on the board, it get reflected. So make sure that you need to check for your own, like if you are uh, importing a good IC schematic, then it is good, right, but if you are uh, importing this and when you will print the IC on the board, then it will get reflected reversely. So make sure that it get connect, it, it has the proper schematic. Okay. Now let's move towards the data sheet of the IC to identify the where we have the pin number one. So this is the data sheet of the stm 8 one j 3 IC. And this is the pin description. As you can see here, we have eight pin and we have uh, six multi-purpose GPIO pins and three voltage reference pin. The pin number two is used to pro provide the ground. Pin number three is used to provide the V cap reference and pin number four is used to provide the voltage supply that is high pole. The respective pins uh, functionality has been provided in the table below here. So you can read this table out and you can you will get understood that what pin is used for which purpose. And one thing more important that is the VCAP pin. You need to attach a capacitor here to provide the uh, stability to the 1.8 voltage regulator which has inbuilt into the IC. So this IC contains a 1.8 voltage regulator inbuilt it. So you need to provide a capacitor to this pin with respect to, to ground. I will get back to you uh, in the upcoming minutes. So then we have the pin description here. You can read out thoroughly. They have mentioned us lots of details here. Then let's see the package information. Here they have mentioned the direction of the one pin number one so that we can we could mount the IC on the PCB breakout. So if you took look little bit here it has a slope and near, near around 45 degree. So 
when you uh, look at the IC from the top side, you will get a slope of the 45 degree. So wh where the slope is situated, you will get a pin number one wh while looking at the top. Okay, so the pin number one is here. So let's identify pin number one from the physically layout. So if you see in the IC little bit closer okay so this is the slope that I am talking about this is the 45 degree angle slope and we have the pin number one here so this is the pin number one then pin number two is used for ground then pin number three where we need to attach a capacitor and pin number four okay now let's see the PCB etching part. You need several components. So you need a glossy paper and you need a copper plate or PCB copper plate and you need a PCB cleaner like this and you need a PCB etching ferrous chloride. Okay. So the PCB manufacturing process is really easy. You need to just uh, print the layout from the easy EDA. Make sure that it is uh, set to 1 is to 1 ratio so that you could print the original layout here. So I have printed out it here. Then I just uh, attach this print on the board and then I used a iron to heat up this board. While iron uh, while heating up this board, make sure that you are placing some pressure to it, so that you you could able to uh, print this layout on the this uh, copper board, okay? And while printing this layout on the copper board, just like a sticker, so it could get reflected reversely. That's why I use the bottom layout of the PCB layer while designing in on the EZDA. Okay, while when you completed this uh, print printing part, then you will, you will get a marker uh, layout on the top of the board here. Then you need to uh, prepare a solution of the ferrous chloride. You can use any kind of plastic jar and just put the ferrous chloride on the jar and then mix it up with a certain amount of water then put this copper board which includes the layout of your pcb okay then just put the copper board on that solution and uh, take this uh, or keep th keep this copper board with the solution around 20 to 30 minutes and make sure that uh, while you keep this copper board with the solution you need to steer this board uh, a in between some times okay then after the solution has been completed after uh, 30 minutes you will get a proper layout here uh, the remaining part of the copper will be removed by the ferrous chloride and then you need to scrub this pad then you will get this look while uh, the remaining circuit of the copper will uh, be sold. Then I just soldered the pin headers with the respective two pins. I used a PCB driller to drill the holes and then I used the IC with the SMD soldering method. So I soldered the IC with SMD soldering method. Then well next see how to connect this uh, PCB breakout with the breadboard with a small amount of capacitor and we will learn how to blink the LED with this IC. So if you are a follower of our HTM8S 103 F3 PC development boards tutorial series, you might know about the st this stick. Okay. So this USB stick is provided by the HT micro electronics itself. And this HT link V2 USB stick is used to program the any kind of HTM micro HTM development boards or ICs. Okay, 
so you need to install the stpd uh, compile and cosmic c compiler if you don't know how to install it and how to set up you can so uh, watch our previous videos about the estimate s103 development board so let's uh, get started with the work environment of the software so this is the st visuals development studio so you need to create a workspace here so i'm creating a new workspace then create workspace and project and press ok you need to give a specific name of the workspace so i am giving it as html8s001 test1 then you need to provide a location of the workspace so i am providing this here Then give a specific name of the project. So I am giving it HTML8S001 LED blink. Then again, uh, I am using the Cosmic C toolchain and then press OK. If you don't see here anything, then you need to install the Cosmic C for HTML8S and to do that, you can follow our previous tutorial series of HTML8S0103 development board. Here, we need to select the specified uh, MCU for the HTML8S and that is HTML8S001 J3 and then press select. It can be shown here, then press OK. So it has been created a different workspace for you. The workspace looks like similar to the HTML8S 103 development board. We have a source files and we have some include files. So we need to add some source files and then we need to add the include files. So let's add one by one. So I'm adding the include files first. So to add the include files, you need to uh, you can find the include files on our github repo of the HTML8S projects. So here I am including only what I have I need for this project. Then click OK. So you can see that I have included the needed H header files for the project and then I need to add the source file also. Now go to the main.c file. Here you need to uh, code for the LED blinking. But before this, you need to select the specific board for the that we are using under the estimates.h file. You can find it here. So I have already uncommented this, but if you don't find it un uncommented before, so you, you need to uncomment this 
before using the HTML001 development board. Then click on save button. Okay. Now you can provide, you can use the code that I have mentioned in the GitHub. So let me copy this, the code that I have written before. In the code section, I am enabling the port G, C pin, that is port C, GPIO C, and then I am using the port pin C of the port C, uh, sorry, sorry, pin 3 of the port C, that is C3 pin, to blink the LED. And then I am, I have created a delay function. You can follow this delay function in our previous tutorial also. Then I have initialized the GPIO pin of the C3 pin, particularly in the GPIO mode out that is the PP low fast. Okay. Then in the while loop, I have uh, used the GPIO write reverse function to provide the toggle to the LED. So this is the code for the LED blinking. Now let's upload this. The uploading procedure is similar to the HTMHS 103 that we have done in our previous tutorials. So just compile this before uploading this one. When compilation has been done, then you need to go to the STA Visual Programmer. So this is the ST Visual Programmer. You need to open your source file. Since you have the debug and release folder, inside the debug folder, you can find .s19 file that is the X file of the uh, ST microcontroller, microcontroller. So open this file. Now you need to uh, upload this on the IC. So I am connecting the ST link to the to my laptop. And now I am uh, programming this. So our IC has been successfully programmed. Just uh, disconnect the ST link again and then connect the ST link. Let me show you. So I am connecting the ST link again. So as you can see, the LED is blinking with a delay of 2 seconds. So in this video, we have interfaced an LED with the HTMHS. 001 j3 the procedure of the code uploading the code and the uploading the libraries is similar to the stmhs 103 development board the best difference is this ic comes in very cheap cost thank you so much for watching this video you can uh, see the documentation that has been provided in the description below